Okay, today we're looking at Math Lesson 16.4, Use Reasoning Strategies to Compare Fractions. My I can statement, I can use different reasoning strategies to compare fractions. Spark your learning. Nora picks three-fourths pound of cherries. Ned picks seven-eighths pound of cherries. Who picks the greater amount of cherries? Show your strategy for comparing the fractions. Well, they give us some circles, and it looks like we need... So first we've got to decide what we need to divide our circles in. So Nora's is three-fourths, so we better divide her circle into fourths. And Ned, so I'm going to write Nora up here just so we don't forget. And Ned. And Ned's denominator is eight, so we better divide his into eight. And it says, who picks the greater amount of cherries so let's shade in three fourths of Nora's and seven eighths three four five six of Ned's so who does pick the biggest amount of cherries well we can see that one eighth of Ned's is missing but one fourth of Nora's is missing and when just looking we can tell that Ned's shaded part is bigger then Norris shaded part. So Ned picks the greater amount of cherries. Okay, so, all right, go on to page two. Build your understanding. Ian's granola bar recipe calls for two thirds cup of oats. Sadie's recipe uses three fourths cup of oats. Whose recipe uses fewer oats so be a little careful here the question is whose recipe uses fewer oats so let's do ian's granola bar recipe calls for two thirds so since our denominator is three we're going to divide it into three parts and he uses two thirds of that sadie's recipe uses four and he uses three fourths of that Ooh, this is really close. Whose recipe uses fewer oats? What fraction represents the missing piece of each whole? So how much of Ian's did we not shade? We did not shade one third of Ian's and one fourth of Sadie's. Do the missing pieces has the same numerator or the same denominator? Well. These have a one on the top, so they have the same numerator. How can you use the size of the missing pieces to compare two thirds and three fourths? Well, since the numerator of the missing pieces are the same, I can look at the denominator for the size of the missing pieces. Ian's recipe has a larger missing piece so it is a lesser fraction. Here that is in the words. So you might want to stop your video and write that down. So whose recipe uses fewer oats? Whose has the biggest spot left? Ian's. So Ian's recipe uses fewer oats. Okay, let's go to step it out. Beth's glass of orange juice is three eighths full. Leo's glass is three fourths full. Both glasses hold the same amount. Whose glass has more juice? Whose glass has more juice? Choose the strategy. We're gonna choose the fraction with the greater, not numerator is greater. If they have the same numerator, then the fraction with the smaller denominator is greater than the missing piece. The fraction with the smaller missing piece is greater. To compare fractions, which strategy works best? I think the same number numerator. Because three fourths and three eighths, the numerator are both is both three. So same 
numerator. Okay. The denominators are not the same. This is why the same numerator strategy works best. Which fraction is greater? Who glass has more juice? Okay, so if we look at 3 fourths and 3 eighths, you know that if something is cut into fourths or divided into fourths, that um, those pieces will be larger than if we divide something into eight. So which fraction is greater? 3 fourths. That's Leo's glass. The numerators are the same. So I compared ooh, I compared the size of the equal parts. And fourths is larger than eighths. Trent can hold his breath for four sixths minute. Is this greater or less than two sixths minute? Well, four is greater than two. The denominator is the same, so you compare the numerator. So it is greater than Draw to show your reasoning. So we're going to divide each of these uh, bars into sixths. So a third, a third, a third, a third, and divide each of your thirds. And let's look at Trent is four six, and then two sixths. And there you can see that two sixths. Uh, four six shades up more space. Compare less than, greater than, or equal to. Okay, so five six and two thirds. So you can go somewhere and draw a picture. Um, and see which one works. So if I were to draw five six. And two thirds. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two thirds. And the biggest missing piece here is the two thirds. So that tells me that five six is greater than. Two thirds. So I use the missing piece strategy. Okay, let's look at this one. This time our numerators are the same. So if I have three pieces of eight or three pieces of six, well, we know that six is going to give us larger pieces. So we should put. 3 eighths is less than 3 sixths, and we use the same numerator. And on this one, our denominators are the same, so we can look at our numerator and know that 3 is greater than 2. So this time we use the same denominator strategy. Oh my, stop.
Let's go ahead and talk about number one on the homework. So here that is in words. So there's uh, number one. When you get to the back, please be sure you go back and, and look at your um, step it out page, page 415, to find strategies that you're going to use.